Welcome back. We're continuing with the great campaigns of the American Civil War. The Atlanta Resounds module, it's still turn one. And I just rolled the double six for activation. And Hume uh, had elected to send off Jim Wheeler up into the gap. Uh, he rolled a six for movement. He gets plus one. That puts him uh, right into uh, the fortified zone here in Doug Gap. Uh, to reinforce that, which then just means we, we need to try and reinforce this hex here, which is which has actually, it's okay, it has eight strength points in there. Uh, so then the next activation we, we, we conducted, we rolled double one, which means we have to do this cohesion check business, and that's where all these guys are going to be out uh, of cohesion. So I would, I guess we put a marker down just basically for all these fellas here. And that then will potentially draw the turn to an end, unless the Confederates elect. So we, uh, so unless the Confederates elect to try to continue, and they have to roll underneath their leader's value less one. So Hooker has a four, so that means doing to roll three or less. I did roll a two just to see what would happen. So basically, now I could choose to either move into the recovery phase or take the initiative. And continue moving and I'm kind of inclined to let the turn end and recover any fatigue that I have sort of outstanding on the map for the Confederate forces and then begin the turn anew with uh, the opportunity then to start uh, withdrawing in turn two I think the sooner we churn turns up the better off we are for for the uh, Confederates but the flip side of that would be, uh, should I take advantage of this single initiative and and use, for instance, uh, I, did I say Hooker? That's Hardy. Uh, my apologies. So I could uh, activate Hardy and he could activate all these units and begin a withdrawal. But we then would expose ourselves pretty quickly to uh, some pretty hefty forces here. And I'd have to sort of really only move behind this river as a stage uh, so maybe I'm better off waiting for the time being. So it's a little bit, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. I'm guessing there's going to have to be some juggling of force pools, uh, putting two leaders in a hex and then transferring units between the two. I need to make sure I can actually even do that so that I can leave something in the fort uh, to hold and then try and pull as much back as I can. I, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. So. I've got to noodle through the mechanics on that one. But anyway, I think, I think we're going to move on to turn two, get everybody relatively fresh, uh, flip some exhausted leaders, hopefully, and take the fatigue, fatigue markers off. And uh, we'll do the same, same for the uh, Union, of course, as well. And of course, that still leaves the Union in a difficult situation where Sherman is significantly away from uh, a, a portion of his army here. So we're probably going to need to move him down to around about here or even a little bit further down and maybe just have these guys as a blocking force. I, I don't know. We've got to protect our supply line. Lots of little things going on here. So uh, more as it happens. Talk to you soon.